Hello and hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. Let's talk to no, Rear Admiral Kuhuku now. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. There we go. Another side quest right off the bat. So, uh, a lot of the side quests that we get obtained here in the Citadel, we have to go outside of the Citadel to actually do. Here's another one that we can obtain and do another time, another another place. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay, so that's another side quest right there that we need to do. Now we're gonna, I'm going to be doing a lot of side quests. Remember that guy that I uh, walked by? He's got a side quest for us, so... Try to think, is there anywhere else that I need to go to get a side quest? Flux? No. Seasick? Maybe. Don't think so though. Cora's Den? No. Markets? No. Med Clinic? Yes. So we need to go to the Med Clinic. Um, Dr. Michelle has another little side quest for us that we can actually do here on the Citadel. Nice and easy to do, so why not? Right, so if we just come through this door... I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care Good of Good luck, it. Commander. Right, so that's another side quest that we can just rattle off right here and now so let's go do that shall we let's get our guns out just so we can move just a little bit faster 
Now, oh yeah, and we also need to go talk to Emily Wong because we managed to pick up some OSD from that place. Where is Emily Wong? I am sure that Emily Wong is supposed to be around here. Hmm. Maybe I didn't pick it up. Oh, did I pick that up? I'm sure I did, right? Damn it, I never... Oops, my bad. I need, we need to head back to Fist's office as well. Office. Because I somehow forgot to pick up the thing that I needed to get. So that's annoying. Silly Martin, silly Martin. But the thing that we need to do for Dr. Michelle... Is right down here. In the market area. Morlin, right? We've talked to him before. He's right here. And Cora's Den is right over there, so we can go to that as well. Hello there. Welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Morland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. So you can kill him? You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, and that's that. Good tidings to you, human. Now, we need to return to Dr. Michelle and inform her that things have been taken care of. But if, well, we're next to Cora's den. Yep, there's the little... There's the little uh, investigator. I don't know how I missed this. I must have been too preoccupied with the... I meant to thugs that I was gunning down endlessly. But yep, this place is back to its normal, as if a gunfight never happened in here and tons of people didn't die. Yep, totally never happened. So even though this is red, we can just open it up and we can go back in. Come back in here to the back room, and I don't know how I missed this, I honestly don't. Oh, it's here, my bad. So there's the optical storage desk that's sitting on the floor. I thought it was in the safe, that's why, for some reason, so... My bad. But now that that's done, we need to head out of Cora's den, back to Dr. Michelle, and then I think we need to... probably go... maybe talk to Rear Admiral Kohoku. I don't actually think anything properly... I don't actually think anything comes from... I don't actually think anything really comes from the Baines thing, so we don't actually need to follow that up. So, Dr. Michelle is right back up here, no problem at all. But we are nearing the completion of the Citadel for now. I will, today I will int I intend to finish up all my recordings of the Citadel, or my, for the first portion of the Citadel anyway, and then I will stop recording or maybe not I do have other things to do I have other videos to record I still need to record some Dennis tactics I'm gonna start a new let's play today I'm gonna to pick one to replace Jade Empire which by the time of this video up it should of all my Jade Empire videos should have been released because it's finished now so I need to pick a game to replace that I'm not gonna let people vote on it this time around just pick one ah Damien Wong word on the street is that you've been busy congratulations on taking down Fist I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Oh, 
All right, let's go. We've got other. Th I want to go. There might be something we can do in flux. Round here. Is that going to happen? Yes, it is. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. It only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you Of course, if you get well, you So, go. we could help him get his data. We could. Yeah, totally. If you're a bad guy. Or you could just like um come over here and be like, "Yo, Doran." Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your That's that. Got some credits, got some experience. Now, obviously you could have done that a little bit differently if you wanted, but... Eh. Nah. It's not really worth it. I just do that for the quick and easy way. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. And that's that done. No worries. Now, where do I need to go now? Oh, yeah. I need to go back to Dr. Michelle. That's where I was going before I got sidetracked with the whole Shells thing. So, we're get, we're knocking a lot of these side quests out the park. You know, we're actually nearing the end of them all, I think. I still don't think there's any more. After the serviceman one that we've got to do. Oh, yeah. That should be the last one. Oh yeah, we also need to talk to her and talk to her. Oh, so much stuff to do in this game. Better get cracking to it. Talk to Michelle. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the captain knows him. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help I'll be going. With and that's that, and we leveled up. Awesome. Okay, now I do want to put another charm in. I'm pointing to charm. Um, oh, I could get advanced warp, but I do want to get my shotguns, so I'll put more points into pistols. Let's give you shotguns and bring you closer to first aid. Let's 
for you, Wolf, I don't know about you to be honest. Let's um, put some points into assault rifles for you I think. Right, what level are we actually? What level are we now? We are level 12, awesome. Right, so now we need to go and do other things. So the Presidium, we need to go to the embassies. Um, we also need to go there. Let's go here first. That view, that view will never cease to be amazing to me, I don't think. So yeah, I'm picking a new Let's Play today, but uh, I'm not sure what it'll be yet. We'll see. We'll see what I pick, what I decide to do. I could do Baldur's Gate, I may pick that, or something else. So many options. I'm only going to be doing one Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3 Let's Play at a time, though. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Now, you don't really get much for saying that you're going to like charge her or anything like that, which is why I didn't do it. Nothing really comes from that. There's no point to even seeing it, to be honest. So, that's another side quest that we've got to do. We're racking up these side quests all the time, just infinitely racking them up. Tons of stuff to do in this game. We're already on, like, episode, what, 13, 14? Probably more than that. No, I think it's like, I think this is episode 14, I think. Yeah, and we've got tons to do. So, and we've not even left Citadel yet, this is just like the beginning of the game. There's lots and lots for us to do. This is going to be a long let's play guys, we're in here for the long haul. Now, there's the bar up there, we need to go back up to the bar. But, we also need to go over here and talk to this guy over here. Not Avina, not Avina, it's a S Samesh Batia. Uh huh. Excuse me, com Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Batia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman the Raleigh Batia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Batia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. So, what is up here with the Alliance military? I'm going to extend this video just a little bit, because we are nearly finishing up on Citadel, and I want to get all this done in one episode. I don't want to pause it and start the next episode. I want to get it all done now. So if we just come up here, Bosker's right here. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. 
A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. I'll tell Mr. Bacci about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other... Well, you know... <laughs> As sucky as it is, I'm sure that that's what Mrs. Batty would wish for her. To wish she would wish she would want to save people's lives in her death. I mean, I don't think she would be very happy if she had the opportunity to save lives and it was passed up on, so... Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead! Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. And that's that. Now, that's pretty much us uh, with the Citadel. There's not much else that I can think of. We want to go to the Seasick Academy though. Uh, I could just... Nah, let's just... Nah, screw it. Just walk there. So, that's us. We're going to leave the Citadel soon. Very soon. But not too soon. Got some other stuff to do. Well, just a couple of things. We gotta go talk to the CSEC requisitions officer, see what kind of gear he's got now that we're a Spectre. Talk to Anderson, talk to Dina. And then we've got to just do some stuff in the Normandy, I think. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Well, that sounds like a potential side quest right there. What do you guys think? Side quest? Yay or nay? Hmm? 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 You guys are so boring to take elevator rides with. You know that, right? I mean, you could at least talk to me back, you know, rather than just standing here awkwardly watching the elevator go down. Ugh! Guys, do my head in. Right, so now that that's done, we, we let's nip down to the C set guy, see if he's got any new gear for us. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock, Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. And the rare stocks. I do want a lot of this stuff, but I just simply don't have the money. Don't have the money. 
Okay, well, I can afford all this stuff, but I don't want to blow all my money on all this. What about the Hydra? Meh. I'll, f I'll find better armor out there, I guess. Out in, this, out in the galaxy. Now, we are almost done. I swear we're to you, we're almost done. We just need to come over here and go down to the docking bay. Oh god, it's another elevator ride with you two. You know, at least with Rex I get some conversation, but you two, you just don't have anything. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Hey, where's my mansion? I did that. I helped with that. Where's my mansion? Hmm? Do I not get any credit? Guys, no credit. No credit for us, the help we did. We, I mean, we killed first. We killed those two turrets. And then we had to backtrack all the way to just to pick up the damn OSDs. And she didn't even mention us. I'm Commander Shepard. I deserve respect. Deserve mention. <laughs> Ugh, pity party time. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Alright, so we need to talk to Captain Anderson here. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. 
What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright. So that's that pretty much. Just seeing if there's, there's absolutely no point. You know, we'll talk about Koku about Gain Baines the next time we see him, but for now let's go back into the Normandy. Our new ship. Our ship now. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Well, gotta be decontaminated. Decontamination in Mask progress. loading screen. <laughs> Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, <clears throat> you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. 
Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. And that right there is yet another moment that no matter how many times I play it, gives me goosebumps. But this episode has went on far too longer, but I thought that this would be the perfect ideal place to get to the video to before ending it. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Mass Effect. If you have enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content from myself, Vida95. Content which includes Mass Effect, Dynasty Tactics and Dynasty Wars 3. Thank you guys for watching and tune in next time where we begin exploring space. See you then.